Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Don Moon. I'm a senior technical program manager uh, working for Memory System Research Group at SK Hynix. Uh, today, as you can see here, I'm going to talk about Compute Express Link related topic, uh, in particular CXL based memory expansion and their memory processing opportunities in data analytics platforms. So here's the agenda for this presentation. First, I'm going to talk about challenges ahead when expanding system memory. And I'm going to talk about opportunities that CXL can offer while addressing these challenges. Then I'm going to introduce you to our uh, two CXL memory solutions, uh, in particular CXL memory expander solution and CXL computational memory solution. And then I'm going to talk about our target data analytics system that we optimize with these two CXL solutions. And then I'm going to end uh, this presentation with a brief summary and our future plan. All right, so let's first talk about challenges ahead when we're uh, expanding system memory. So to make a long story short, as the volume of data grows exponentially, uh, we need more cores. However, for various reasons, including implementation costs and signal integrity issues, conventional way of memory expansion based on DDR interface cannot keep up with this pace. So we basically need, uh, we need a new approach, and we believe CXL, uh, CXL-based memory expansion specifically, is a decent solution to address these challenges. From a memory and memory, uh, storage solution provider's perspective, we believe there are four uh, values that CXL can potentially create. Uh, first of all, this is what I just talked about. Um, memory expansion beyond DDR memory is now possible thanks to CXL memory expanders. Secondly, now that we have CXL memory, they can embed a different kinds of memory media, not just limited to DRAM, but also persistent memory and even hybrid ones. We can create a whole different uh, innovative storage or memory solutions that, can, that wasn't really possible in the, in the past. And thirdly, now that we have memory uh, CXL memory controller uh, embedded in the CXL memory device side instead of host side, which, will, which is the case for the DDI interface, we can integrate enhanced features, uh, creating additional values. Last but not least, thanks to CXL supporting uh, you know, memory semantics and also cache coherence, cache coherency, um, we believe memory disaggregation has become more viable than ever. So out of these four values I just talked about, these two in red are the focus of this talk. Uh, memory bandwidth and capacity expansion, this is related to our CXL memory expander solution. And controller differentiation is relevant to our CXL computational memory solution. So I'm going to talk about these two solutions briefly. All right, so let's first talk about CXL memory expander solution uh, real quick. Uh, lately, back in August, at the FMS event, uh, we introduced our E3.S form factor CXL memory expanders. We also offer HMSDK, heterogeneous memory uh, software development kit that enables CXL aware memory allocation. So if you want to learn more about this, please check out our company's website, um, whose link is presented at the bottom of this slide. All right, so this is an interesting one. So CXL computation memory solution, this is uh, something that we've been actively working on uh, lately. As the name computation memory uh, suggests, it is near memory processing on top of CXM memory expansion, and it offers all the theoretical benefits of near memory processing as listed here. So it is better at memory intensive operations, uh, it helps reduce data movement between CPUs and CXM memory, and also it frees up CPU resources to do other more useful work. Uh, furthermore, now we can um, you know, embed multiple computation memory cards into a server via PCIe slots as we increase the number of CMS cards, you know, performance and energy efficiency scales proportionally. On the right side, uh, we have a uh, computation memory solution applied our target database application. At the bottom, we have computation memory hardware prototype, which is CXL 2.0 compatible and offers up to two, uh, 512 gigabytes of memory. And on top of this, we built a computational memory software development kit, CMSDK in short, which interfaces our target data, uh, database applications. Um, while we're doing this, there were really two main objectives. Uh, first of all, uh, we wanna figure out how much benefit that CXL-based computational memory solution can offer in the context of data analytics, that's one thing. And another is, maybe this was more important to us, 
uh, we want to learn how easy it is uh, to actually implement, integrate, and control and manage near memory processing engine within the CXM memory device. While we're doing this, we have learned a lot of lessons, but unfortunately, uh, we're running out of time. I cannot share it with you here. But if you're interested, come visit us at our booth. We can talk about it offline. Um, in a nutshell, uh, thanks to CXL again, um, providing three sub protocols that IO, that MAM, and the cache. Uh, you know, the realization and implementation of computation memory has become more feasible than ever. Okay, so now that we have talked about our two CXL solutions, let's talk about our target data analytics platform that we optimize with these two solutions. It is Lightning DB. It's our partner, SK Telecom's uh, proprietary real-time database management system. Uh, it is deployed in commercial data analytics services offered by our partner, SK Telecom. And just like many other modern database uh, systems, it supports pretty k push down acceleration for select machine learning functions and uh, some SQL operations such as scan filter and scan, scan aggregate. And on the right side, we have our target baseline system that we optimize with those two CXL solutions. Uh, on top, we have SQ, sorry, Spark running on top of our target uh, in-memory database, Lightning DB. And at the bottom, we have hardware configurations, which comprises CPUs and DIMM zoning. So the first enhancement we applied to this target baseline system uh, is CXM memory expander solution. And as you can see here, now we have no additional capacity available thanks to CXM memory expanders. The entire system uh, experiences less disk spill, thereby uh, resulting in higher performance and energy efficiency. So to demonstrate the effectiveness of CXM memory expansion quantitatively, we actually set up a, an um, experiment where we built three different configurations. So first is uh, first configuration is disk spill, which comprises two servers with CPUs and NIMS only. Second configuration is CXL memory expansion. Now we add uh, six expanders to it. And then third configuration, which is called DRM scale out, instead of having uh, two servers like disk spill case, now we, it has uh, three servers for the cluster. Uh, but it consists of uh, CPUs and DIMMs only. And the total capacity of DRAM scale out is the same as the total capacity of memory capacity of CXM memory expansions. And as you can see here, uh, performance of CXM memory expansion case shows compatible performance to that of DRAM scale out, uh, yet it uh, consumes uh, significantly less power. And one thing to note here is that this experimental result is based on our FPGA uh, prototype of CXM memory expander. But once we replace it with our, we are, our uh, E3.S module, the performance and power numbers will uh, become much better dramatically. Uh, second announcement we applied to our bar, uh, baseline target system was computation memory solution. And in addition to expanded system memory, uh, we have this near memory processing engine uh, that can handle push to down memory intensive operations much more efficiently than CPUs. And in this system, uh, CXL uh, NMP engine uh, actually handles data residing in, resident in the CXL memory while the CPUs are processing data in DDR uh, DIMMs in parallel. So one thing to highlight here is that uh, Lightning DB's latest version uh, incorporates computational memory solution as one of its primary features that can be turned on and off based on um, user's need. And again, to demonstrate the effect of CXL computational memory solution, uh, we set up an experiment again uh, for four different configurations in this case. Uh, first one is one solver. Uh, this is one socket solver and one solver with one CMS card, literally we just inserted one CMS card into one server, and then one server with four CMS cards, and then two server to form the target cluster. And, but two server system you know, does not contain any uh, no CMS cards in it, just CPUs and DIMMs only. As you can see here, uh, one server with four CMS cards actually uh, shows compatible performance with that of two server, uh, yet it consumes again substantially less power, uh, implying the higher energy efficiency. Again, this is uh, FPGA-based um, prototype result. So once we replace it with ASIC-based design, the numbers will uh, improve uh, significantly. All right, so to summarize, uh, CXM memory solutions offer higher energy efficiency and potentially lower TCOs. 
and our future research will cover computational memory uh, solutions supporting a broader range of applications, not just limited to data analytics, but we're also actively working on some other functions like you know, compression, decompression, security, and even more. And another uh, topic we're um, working on is CXM memory pooling and sharing uh, in the context of a memory disaggregation. So for uh, future research collaboration with us, please contact us via dongle.moon and sk.com. We're more than happy to discuss potential collaboration opportunity with you going forward. All right, so that's all I have for this presentation. Uh, last but not least, we have another talk scheduled at four uh, at Expo, uh, Expo, 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 talk, Expo Hall talk stage. Um, it's about uh, six and memory solutions. So if you want to learn more about it, please come visit us. Uh, and also our booth is located at B25. It's the B25 and it's uh, right next to, what is that, the uh, Expo Talk stage. So please come join us. We can talk about the CXM memory solutions and also you can enjoy some of the demos we prepare for you. All right, thank you. Thank you, Dong. All right, thank you.